Today's lesson is on cannabis. Today's lesson, we are going to look at cannabis. So Canada legalizes cannabis. The federal cannabis law or cannabis act came into effect on the 17th of October back in 2018 and made Canada the second country in the world after Uruguay to formally legalize the cultivation, possession, acquisition, and consumption of cannabis and its products. So in essence, here in Canada, cannabis is considered a legal substance. So cannabis is a drug that can affect your mind and body. So because it's now become legalized, it's important to learn about the health effects and the legal issues and ways to lower health and other risks if you do choose to use it. I do not recommend you using it. Um, as we talked about um, in previous lessons, just the idea of the adolescent brain uh, is still developing and develops until the age of 25. So what is cannabis? Cannabis, also known as marijuana, weed, pot, whatever you want to call it, is a drug that comes from a plant. Uh, it contains a chemical THC, which represents tetrahydrocannabinol, and CBD, which is cannabinol. Uh, and uh, they have some short-term and long-term effects that we are going to look at. Now, people use cannabis for different reasons, and it can be prescribed by a doctor or nurse practitioner as medical treatment. Um, but like other medications, if cannabis is prescribed to you, it's important to know uh, to take it the way it is directed. So um, just some statistics um, that uh, I want to share that back in 2017, one in five grade seven to 12 students in Ontario said they used cannabis at least once in the previous year. In this group, most students reported that they used a bong joint, edible, uh, whatnot, whatever way to consume it. Um, and that they found that uses increased with grade and the highest occurring by grade 12. So that experimentation um, stage at grade 12 becomes um, very abundant. So it's important, parents, if you're watching this video, that, that you do take the time to, to speak to your child with regards to um, the dangers behind uh, consuming it at such a young age, considering that the brain the, the, the brain of an individual continues to develop right up until the age of 25 years of age. Okay, so it's really important um, to, uh, to understand that. Uh, it's also important to remember that 81% of students in grades 7 to 12 reported that they have not used cannabis at all in the past year. So that is a very good uh, number, but let's try to get that number even higher um, for uh, high schoolers. Uh, how do people use cannabis? Cannabis can be consumed in a variety of ways, in a variety of forms. Um, many times, uh, most of the times, it's inhaled through either uh, some kind of cigarette or uh, joint uh, here, which will give you immediate effects. Uh, sometimes they will be taken through food um, in the form of edibles or liquids or capsules. Um, and these ones usually take a little bit longer for them to actually take get uh, taken to effect. Uh, so how does cannabis make you feel? The effects you may experience after using cannabis will vary uh, depending on how much of each chemical is actually included and how your body reacts to it. So cannabis can have varying mental, emotional, and physical effects, especially if, as I was mentioning earlier, if you are under the age of 25. So this is why it is very important. If you are under the age of 25, why it is important that um, you do stay away from these, the uh, substance. Uh, so how does uh, cannabis make you feel? Uh, let's continue with some more effects. Everyone reacts uh, differently. 
Okay, so everybody's going to experience a different um, uh, experience from the high of marijuana. Uh, factors that contribute to your experience with cannabis uh, may vary based on uh, genetics, uh, your medical history, including any family history you might have, how often you use it, how you take it, right? As we mentioned, edibles as opposed to smoking it, uh, how much you take, and the levels of THC and CBD, because those will play a very big role in the effects of um, the high that you will receive from uh, consuming cannabis. Uh, how does cannabis make you feel? Some, some additional notes. Uh, the effects of cannabis may also be experienced on a range or vary each time depending on how it's consumed. So if you're ingesting um, edibles, they take longer to feel the effects, up to a few hours. Uh, so it's important to be aware of how much you're consuming if you choose to use cannabis, right? So someone who's taking in these edibles, who's expecting to feel that high almost immediately, well, they could end up consuming too much uh, and actually getting very, very sick if they consume uh, too much when they're trying to achieve that high, knowing that it will take a few hours for it to actually uh, kick in. Some short-term effects, uh, mental effects, you may be more anxious or even more relaxed depending on, uh, I guess, the strain of the, um, the, the cannabis uh, and the type of person you are. Uh, you may experience paranoia, delusions, hallucinations, fear and changes in thinking or your ability to make decisions. As when we talked about alcohol, uh, understand that whether it's alcohol or marijuana, cannabis, um, do not drive. OK, so please do not get behind the wheel. And we, I'm going to share with you an article uh, at the end of this lesson. Some more short term effects. You have emotional effects. You may feel high, happy, euphoric. Uh, it may also impact how you interact socially. You may be more personable and outgoing or it could make you a little more quiet and subdued. Right. So, again, as we said, everybody experiences a completely different uh, sensation. You may feel numb or maybe no emotions at all. Some continued short-term effects, physical effects. You may feel sleepy or even hungry, right? The, the uh, term got the munchies uh, comes to mind when it, people talk about marijuana and ingesting it. If you're feeling physical pain uh, before using cannabis, it may uh, be reduced after use. OK, um, you may experience an increase in heart rate, body tremors, red eyes, uh, your senses, what you see, hear, feel, taste and smell. They all may be heightened as a short term effect of um, cannabis. So the effects of cannabis may be increased if it's used often or taken with alcohol and other drugs. So it's important to know how much you're taking in order to stay safe. Um, but the point is, um, don't use, okay, don't use anyhow. Uh, there are also some long-term effects associated with cannabis use. Uh, these effects will vary also depending on the, uh, the person. So they vary depending on the person themselves and the frequency that they use it and the age in which they started to use. So using cannabis at an early age before the age of 18 increases the risk of long-term effects. So before the age of 18, hence the reason why I say don't use OK, don't use evidence shows that using cannabis regularly before the age of 25 may affect uh, brain development. OK, may affect brain development. This may lead to long term problems with memory, uh, cognition and attention. OK, so maybe you'll be become very, very forgetful. Um, imagine here now at my later ages in my later late age in life and I'm starting to lose my memory and I don't use this stuff and um, never used it. And all of a sudden now imagine, you know, you under the age of 25 and getting the same um, issues as someone uh, in my age. Uh, it may also affect your ability to think and make decisions in all aspects of your life, including school, recreational activities and relationships. 
In certain cases, cannabis use may trigger a psychotic episode, a condition in which the person does not know what is real and what is not. Uh, so long-term effects, lung damage if cannabis is inhaled. Right, for smokers, uh, including chronic cough and bronchitis. Uh, psychosis in individu individuals with a personal or family history of mental illness. So if there's mental illness um, that runs genetically in uh, your family, um, yeah, this could be right. the, the idea of psychosis uh, affecting you um, as a long-term effect of marijuana use. So don't use um, addiction or dependency on cannabis. Uh, you may experience uh, some or all or none of these effects. Again, they vary from person to person. Keep in mind that some mental health disorders first present themselves when you're in your teens. So mental illness issues that you might not be thinking are issues to you uh, could end up being um, coming into greater light as you get older uh, with use of cannabis. Is cannabis legal? As I mentioned earlier on, yes, in Canada, uh, recreational cannabis uh, became legal back in October 17th of 2018. The laws defining it uh, use resemble those of alcohol and tobacco, so there are restrictions on the legal age and where cannabis can be used. Uh, different provinces and territories across Canada also have unique approaches as to how cannabis is sold. So you can't just go into any store to purchase it. Uh, what about driving? Right, As I, I mentioned it earlier and I'm going to repeat it again, driving while high okay, is illegal in Canada. So after smoking it or consuming cannabis, it is illegal to drive in Canada. Canada. It is uh, classified as impaired driving and is penalized in the same way as somebody who drinks and drives. It doesn't matter how um, uh, well you think you can function. The fact that you have marijuana in your system makes you an impaired driver. So don't uh, smoke and drive. Uh, let's uh, look a little bit more with regards to uh, driving. If you drive while impaired by cannabis or other substances, you could face with a fine or even criminal charges. Even small amounts of cannabis can affect your attention, your reaction time, and your ability to judge distances, even if you don't feel high. Okay, so you don't necessarily need to feel the high in order to have um, these impair your judgment. It's important not to drive after using cannabis because your brain needs to be alert and focused. Right? You're, you're behind a, a, a very heavy metal object on the road and the littlest thing. Uh, little is attention um, or a bit of detail that you don't notice or aren't paying attention and all of a sudden somebody else's lives, uh, including your own, uh, can be um, uh, taken away. Uh, you also want to avoid getting into a car with a driver who has used cannabis. So if you have a friend who you know has used it, do not get in their the uh, their cars uh, marijuana impairs your ability to drive by altering your balance and coordination your motor skills attention judgment reaction time and your decision making so some statistics every three hours uh, is how often a drug impaired uh, driving incident is recorded in Canada. So every three hours, there is some kind of drug impaired driving incident. Uh, over one in four is the number of cannabis users who reported having driven under the influence. Can you imagine that one in four cannabis users, that's 25% of all cannabis users have reported having driven while under the influence. It's illegal. You could face consequences with a fine, criminal charges, even jail time. OK, uh, increased likelihood um, marijuana increases your chances of being in a crash. OK, um, and this is the last thing that I want to share here uh, is this article. Uh, Greg Thompson um, woke up uh, one morning to uh, find out um, from OPP officers that his son had been killed in a car accident uh, where the driver was under the influence of marijuana. 
And of course, as a parent myself, that kind of news would just be devastating to, to, to hear. Uh, father asks his daughter, um, where as parents did they fail? And the daughter turned around and said that they taught that the parents taught them well. They taught them about alcohol and driving and never getting into the, the car of someone who drinks and to never drink and drive themselves. But the trouble was that the conversation did not include the dangers of driving under the influence of marijuana. Okay, so please, if you're a parent who's come across this video, have that talk with your kid. Uh, be open. Uh, do not uh, pass judgment. Um, the, the lines of communication is very, very important um, for your son or daughter. Uh, so please, please um, have that communication open with your children to try to encourage them to make smart decisions, to not do things, uh, to, to not get involved with cannabis in the first place um, uh, and uh, and just to raise them to know um, not to get in the uh, in the wheel uh, behind the wheel themselves if they are consuming it and to not get in the car of a friend who has consumed uh, marijuana or even alcohol I hope you liked this video if you did do not be shy to hit that thumbs up button and while you're clicking the thumbs up, click on that subscribe to stay tuned to my new videos. Thanks for watching.